Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Drag. So last episode, we went and built up the wall and the gateway behind me there, and I absolutely love how that turned out. Now the other wall is mostly in. Unfortunately, we kind of ran out of prismarine bricks before we could finish that, so it's not quite done, but it is at least marked out. But we are not going to be working on that today. I think we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding in a little bit of a inn or tavern and some stables right over here. And yes, stables, we are underwater. I know there's no horses. I suppose we could use skeleton horses if we really wanted to put horses in here. But you know what? We'll just put in a couple little stalls. Should be fine. Maybe they're for seahorses. I don't know. But for that, we just need to get a little bit of stuff set up. So what I think we're going to do is we are going to go up by a block here. And we're just going to do our normal kind of dark prismarine section here. That will just allow us to do a nice little wall here. We will take that prismarine out. Because this is all going to be either filled in with gravel or our terraforming here. We do have another building marked out there to do later. But we're just going to bring this all the way down here to about here and bring it all the way back. Now I think that should hopefully be a big enough area. Certainly hope so because that is all the dark prismarine that we have and we can work from there. Now on top of the dark prismarine what I think I want to do is I want to have three layers of prismarine popped off with a layer of Prismarine bricks, and I think that will do for the bottom section of this building. Really need to get all of the light sources in here so we can stop having to deal with the drowns. But for now, I'm going to go get this wall here in at the base, and then I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. That is the bottom layer of the tavern slash stables in. And as you can see, there's no windows in there yet. I haven't quite decided where I want to put those, but I think the next thing to do would be to get in the doorways, which I think we're going to put right in here. I'm just going to break those out there, put some warped wood in right here, and that will just serve to match our other buildings over here where we have all of the upside down stairs with the prismarine walls on top and the copper on top. Now we're going to continue this up for another floor, but let's just start this one for right now. So with that there, we can get a little path going to the road there. I think what we'll do for the floor in here is we will use some warped planks and get that. But about here, I think is where I want to break this off between where the actual tavern section is and where the stables are so we'll just put in a bit of a wall right here just going to keep using prismarine i kind of want this bottom section here to be stone and oh we get two more of those i need a little more dark prismarine before we can finish that off and then this side here will have the door to the stables now i want to kind of put this about halfway through so that would be right there. And we'll make that too wide so that we can actually get stuff in and out. Now, the floor of this, I don't know what we're going to do. We might do more warped planks. Might do a mix using some prismarine or something. I'm not quite sure. Something I still have yet to figure out. But I do know we'll put in some nice little stalls right here. Some more right here. And that will be good. This is feeling a little off though. Oh well. So what I think we're going to do is we are going to go get the floor of this place in. So we actually have a section to build off of. We still need to get the walls in. Or at least the ceiling here in as well. Which probably more warp planks. That seems to be the material of the day. And then be ready to go and get the second floor set up. So I'll go get this 
ready to actually be decorated, maybe fit in some of the windows into here, and then I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. We now have the floor in on both sections. I don't think we're going to do too much more on this. We might put in some dried kelp blocks into kind of a, a loft, I guess, maybe on one side here, but I think think that other than that this is probably good for a simple little stables maybe we'll add more fences and we'll put three stalls i don't know but i think for the stables at least that will be good now for the inside here we have a nice little area i did end up going with cyan concrete for the floor i just wasn't liking how the wood planks were looking as both the floor and the ceiling so we now have this, which means that we now need to figure out where we're putting in everything or in here. I think we're pretty much going to use up most of the space. We do need to have a stairway up, though. Although this is underwater, so we could probably just get away with breaking out one block. Probably in the corner. Yeah, probably in that corner as the way up. So just do that. And then small little hallway here. I have doors every so often to mark out the rooms. Just something simple like that. But down here, I think we'll have a couple little booths. We'll have to have something marking this area off separate. So we'll just do a couple things like that. Just put a small little table in both sections. And we'll have to do something for the main bar here, or main counter. I think maybe we can just get away with doing something like this, maybe? Probably look a bit better like that, because we don't need to use that corner. So we'll just have a couple little seat areas here. We'll put trap doors, I think. Or not trap doors, pressure plates on top of the fences to be a table. Just simple little tables. Although looking at that now, I think maybe the... Doors might be better because they are a slightly different color. I think, anyway. Hello, Trident Drowned. No, they're the same color. All right. I still think they might look a bit better than the trap or the pressure plates, anyway. And also, they won't make noise whenever you go into here. So, there we go. Got some nice little tables. Probably need something to get back here. And maybe a ladder going up to the second floor. I do want something to signify that the hole is here, and unfortunately, I quite know how to do that. But I think that will do very well. Hello, giant salmon. I said, I think it's almost two blocks long. Wow. Anyway, we need to put something in over here, and then we need to figure out how we're marking out up here. We're going to use the entire second floor for rooms, and I just have to figure out how to. Kind of evenly space them out so that we get decent sized rooms for all sides. So I'm going to go mark those out and then I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. We've got three rooms marked out here. So you get a few doors on here. And what I think we're going to do is we're just going to keep these very simple. We'll have a bed, a little table. And somewhere in here, we'll put in maybe a flower pot. I'm gonna, if I could actually put these down anywhere, I think so. But we'll just keep some very simple rooms through here. I think maybe we'll put some more tables somewhere in these bigger rooms. Ow, high drowned. Just like maybe there. And those ones we can put flower pots on with some more fruits or something. And then the windows, we'll put banners for that once we actually have the wall in. Now, what I'm thinking for the wall, outside wall at least, is I'm going to do a bunch of stripped warp stems about that tall. Now, we do need to get the windows here marked out though. So, those are just going to need to get some warped hyphae which we can stick in there and that going up there so we can actually put this in right there we go hang our banner on there and there we go now that should hopefully look all right from below i don't 
think we're gonna keep the pillars going up. Maybe for the main ones, so that one and that one. Thank you, Drowned. That completely snuck up behind me. Anyway, as I was saying before, we were so rudely interrupted. I think that will look okay if we actually get everything going the right direction. So, I'm gonna keep working on this and get the rest of this wall in so we actually have full rooms. And then I'll be right back. And there we go. We now have the entire second floor built up here. There's all the stripped planks. And I'm not quite sure if we want to put the pillars on top of the copper here. At least for these center ones. I think for the main ones here, it looks really nice. Just having those continue up again. But for the roof, we're not going to do anything too, too fancy. Just some copper stairs. Now, I don't know what we're going to do for the ceiling between the second floor here and the attic. But, I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. We do have to check this. We are only a few blocks away from the top of the surface. But, we're also only a few blocks away from there, so... Let's see, if we build this up in a normal triangle, where does that put us? Just under the surface. Okay, that will work, I guess. So, I think we're just going to do standard triangle for all of this. Might put some slabs on the outside. It all depends on how many of these copper stairs I actually have. But, I'm going to go get that in, and... Maybe we'll toss in just a simple plank floor up here. That way, maybe we can get some light through here. We do have no lighting in any of these. And I forgot to put the table back into this one when I moved the window. Because it just wasn't looking right. So, we'll have to get some lanterns in here. We have soul lanterns I could hang from a ceiling. I do have some plank slabs here that could look really, really nice. But I'm going to go get this roof in, and then I'll be right back. And there we go. We now have the roof all the way in. As you can see, we did something a little different. It's a little bit flatter than I originally planned here. But I think it looks really nice. We also brought it out by a block on each side. And extended it in the front here so that it lines up with the copper blocks. or the. And I think that it looks really nice. Now, one thing that... I think I want to do here is I want to put little flower gardens right in the front here. I don't think we can put anything in them because of the trap door for the window. Hi, Salmon. So, nope. So we may have to do something else with that. Try and maybe move the trap door over. That might work. But I think even just having these little kind of planter boxes right here will look quite nice. This one I'm considering maybe making it a three wide eventually, but with all those being one wide because we can't really make it three with the pillar right here. I think that'll look quite nice. Might put some down here as well. Because we can put them right in here. Hmm, maybe. I'll have to play around with that eventually. But other than that, I think this place is just about done. We've got plenty of lighting in here, I think. Maybe. I might still get some drowns in here, so I'll have to go and look at that. But we've got a few shelves that we can't do. We can go and put that on there. There we go. There's a little bit of color in here. But as I was saying, I think with that, our little kind of inn and stables here is more or less done. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on down here in the bay and elsewhere on this world. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!